in my country, oh, they don't make mules like this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm taking my Speed Tailor Mercedes edition for his first service. It's a bittersweet moment because I'll get to take it for a joyride, but I have to pay for that joyride when I pick up the car. But hey, somebody's gotta do it. Well, the Bugatti Chiron is coming back from service and I gotta have room to put that puppy in. But for now, let's just worry about this. So let's move the P1 out. If you haven't watched my latest video, go watch it because I've taken the P1 out for a joy ride and it's amazing. Man, this car sounds amazing. Well, let's leave it open. What was the last time you drove with the speed tail? I don't know. 1999? <laughs> and of course, I got a little brake fluid leak over here. They sent me the drum to change it, but I need a mechanic. I don't do that anymore. Let's hope it starts. Great success! Oh shoot. It says zero gas. Alright guys. Now that the P1's back in the nest, we're ready to go. Holy moly. UPS, please don't hit my car. Let's go warm up those tires. I don't think we have enough time to warm up tires. But gas station's around the corner. fast it picks up and it'll catch you off guard. All right. <laughs> 17 feet long does pose a problem, guys. Ooh, I'm getting into a gas station. What a tight corner. Did I get this gas tank right? All right, Nate. Can you get me a crane to get out of here? <laughs> this is a lot of work. Not only I don't get paid for this, I gotta pay. All right, everybody wants to know how much it costs to fill up a speed tail. I don't know, let's find out. Definitely putting 91 in this puppy. Dude, it's like some full rat style. All right, we're fueling. Let's see how high this puppy goes. $6.30 a gallon. That's highway robbery. No way. The gas tank's only 13 gallons? No way. Honestly, this is the least expensive fueling I've done on my any super car. I don't know what I'm doing with it. $82, guys. And that's at only 13 gallons. Man, if I have to put one more time these booties on, I'm gonna sell this car. I can see why you don't drive it as much. Yeah, half of this video is me putting my booties on. Sorry guys. All right, let's do it. Ooh, it's hot in here. Where is the AC? One of my favorite things about this car, not only you sit in the middle of the road, but you got this cool electric tent on the roof and also on the upper windshield, and you can just change it with a click of a button. I don't know where that button is right now. I haven't driven this car in a while, but it's somewhere in here. So I have 161 miles on this car, and the max I've ever driven it was 75 miles an hour. Shame on me. Well, there's no roads to go faster. I'm ready. Come on. Green light. Man, the takeoff is incredible. It's too 
smooth, but the only way you know you're going super fast is the G-force you pull on your body. driving the speed tail is I don't have quite a great view on my side mirrors because there are two cameras there is no side mirror and you get a really funky angle when you look at the screen This car is incredible. It's making me sweat, even though I got the AC full blast, and I'm ready for a milkshake. I need a nice, ice cold milkshake right now. Well, yeah, small tank, small range. It says 90 miles to empty. That's not much. So I put 13 gallons. That gives you about what? Seven, eight miles per gallon, guys. It's not bad. to a smile driving this car. I get so excited, I forgot to breathe. All right, let's put the front left up. This car is nerve-wracking. It's too exciting, too much excitement. Can give you a stroke or a heart attack. Oh my God. I forgot to breathe this entire time. So what does this service entail? I have no idea. I've never done one. There's service manager for McLaren's here. And Howdy, guys. So Nate was asking me, what is a service Intel and a speed tail? Well, a speed tail, this is actually one of the first ones we've done uh, since the car just came out a year really? or so ago. Yeah. So uh, well, it it's is my ultimate, first one. It is your first one. And it's an ultimate series car for McLaren. So it sits with like the P1 and the Senate. It's on that level. On the first year service, though, pretty basic. We're doing the oil changes. We're changing some filters out. Very mm. basic stuff. Uh, I got to ask, how much? It's $2,200. What? Yes. I'm used to paying $25,000. I know, this is a bargain. Know, I gotta buy another speed tail, guys. There you go. There this you is go. very manageable. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Compared very to the cool. Bugattis, absolutely. So, yeah, well, beautiful car. We'll go ahead and take care of it and get it done for you as soon as possible. Man. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. Sir. Thank you as always, Thank you, sir. George. Always so, a pleasure. Take care of my baby. I will. You got it, sir. All right, guys, that will do it for this week's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, be safe, be well. See you guys next week. So, I sold this for $40.7 million. Uh, two years ago, so I made about close to $12 million. Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. 
Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. So there is a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it. While one state, for example, Houston that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession, you may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.